Okay, example four, continuity on a closed interval. So we just talked about the definition of continuity on a closed interval. Okay, so first of all, there's basically three conditions. Condition one, it would have to be continuous on the open interval. Condition two, if you took the limit of f of x as x approaches a coming from the right, that would need to equal f of a. And then condition three, you also would have to take the limit of f of x as x approaches b coming from the left. That would need to equal f of b. If we had all of this, we can conclude that the closed interval from a to b would be continuous. Okay, so let's look at this function. So first of all, if we look at this function, the square root of 1 minus x squared, think about the domain of this function. The domain of this function, what's underneath the square root, that would have to be greater than or equal to 0. So if I was subtract 1 and multiply through by negative 1, I would get x squared is less than or equal to 1. Right? Okay. Again, what this means is x would have to be between negative 1 and 1. Anything outside of that is going to invalidate this inequality. For example, if I pick 2, if, I put, if x is equal to 2, 2 squared would be 4. Is 4 less than or equal to 1? No. If I pick negative 2, negative 2 would be negative 2 squared would be 4, 4 is less than 1, no, that would also be false. false. So this is the domain. We want to use this definition over here. Okay. To show that this closed interval is continuous. Okay. So, first of all, let's graph the function. So, uh, let's graph it by looking at a table. Let's plot points starting at negative 1, 0, and then 1. So when x is negative 1, you're going to get 0. When x is 0, you're going to get 1. And when x is 1, you're going to get 0 when you're plugging it into this function here. So if I plot these points, I'm going to point at negative 1, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 0. So this look, should look familiar from a previous example, the graph. Okay, and then we want to show that this is continuous. So first of all, condition 1, is it continuous on the open interval? from negative 1 to 1. Yes. That part is continuous. Okay. Condition 2. We want to take the limit of this function, which is f of x, as x approaches a. This would be a. Negative 1 coming from the right. So that's going to end up being zero, which would be f of a, so that's good. Um, also, 
I need to take the limit of f of x as x is approaching 1 coming from the left. So I need to look at it this way. This also would be 0. Because it meets these conditions, I can say that this function is continuous from negative 1 to 1.